you need to register early, complete your profile, and upload your resume. You'll want to do this all well in advance of any event you plan on attending. Your account login and profile on the virtual platform is different than your Recruit Military account. So if you already have a Recruit Military account, you'll still need to create one for the virtual events. All right, so once you log into the system, it's gonna take you to the home page. all right? So first up, uh, you'll see my events. These are the events that I am currently registered to attend. Upcoming events are just that. Those are events that we are planning on hosting in the future. Past events, same thing. Those are events that I have previously attended. And then the job board. Okay, so one of the things that I want to highlight about the job board, this job board obviously has a different number than the Recruit Military job board. The reason for that, companies will upload specific job postings that they're looking to um, fill or recruit for at the events themselves. They're not all encompassing, but you can kind of think of these as the hot jobs that are really a big focus for the employers. Next up, you want to come over here to edit profile. This is where you're going to want to complete your profile in its entirety. This is the information that the employers are going to have access to, to understand who you are as a job seeker and what you can offer them um, as an employee. Next up, education, resume. You can upload your resume, cover letter, reference letter, transcripts. Again, you want to include as much information as possible. Portfolio samples, if you have any um, digital copies of any sort of your work, you can upload that here. And then email preferences. This is where you can opt in and opt out of receiving emails from our team. All right, next up, messages. Over here in the right-hand corner, messages are uh, employers looking to reach out to you either in advance of an event or post-event. Now keep in mind that these messages only live here, so you're not receiving notifications outside of the platform. It doesn't go to your email, so it's on you to come in um, and physically check these messages. Now the technology requirements are really pretty basic. Uh, you can access the system from a mobile device such as a smartphone or a tablet, but really for the best experience, we recommend you use a personal computer with Google Chrome uh, as your browser. Now, if you want the option to participate in video chats or view chat room broadcasts, you will be required to use Google Chrome or Firefox. In advance of every event, we strongly encourage candidates to do some preparation and review the attending employers. So to do that, you'll want to click on view list of participating organizations. And again, this is the list of employers that are going to be in attendance. First up, you'll come to all rooms. These are all of the chat rooms, um, all the companies that are attending. You can kind of think about this as the um, event floor in a live um, exhibit space. So you've got the organizations, the topics that they're going to be covering, or what a little bit more about what they're gonna be discussing um, in that specific chat room, whether they're online, offline, and the times that they're gonna be available today. So let's go ahead and head into that room. You can do that by clicking join chat, and it's gonna take you into the room. So first thing you'll wanna do is read the blue box, all right? This is basically the employer's or organization's handshake to you. So this is where you can learn a little bit more about what they're gonna be discussing. They may answer some initial kind of questions about the company um, and share just some information that'll be beneficial before you start your engagement. So make sure you read that. Up here in the left-hand corner, this is the um, company information. As I mentioned, there's ways to get to information in different ways. So you can still access the employer profile without going having to go back to the main page. A little bit of job postings, website contact information. Um, so you can still access all of that here. Files. So these are documents that the employers will upload that um, they would typically hand out at traditionally like if they're attending a live event so flyers brochures things like that 
um, maybe company benefit information. It really runs the gamut, but definitely check out the files um, links. And then again, their social media um, accounts. All right, so when you first come into a chat room, um, you'll want to review the public forum. This is going to be the main public forum. All right, so you have the opportunity to review and um, understand, you know, kind of what is going on within the room, see what other um, chat participants have asked, what type of questions they've been asked, responses, that sort of thing. Now, when you come into a chat room, some of the employers and organizations will instantly engage you in a private chat. So you'll receive a notification that you have been engaged in a private chat. So you'll see you have received a private chat. All right. So you just click on this and it's going to bring up that private chat. All right. So here you'll see that the company um, has engaged you in a private chat. Now these messages can only be seen by you and the organizational representative, not the other chat participants. You can also engage the employers themselves in a private chat. So if they don't engage you in a private chat, we definitely encourage you to do so. So to do that, you would just click here, invite to private chat. And again, that private chat message will pop up. Okay. Now, one of the things that the employer has access to do, but you do not is engage in a video chat. So what typically will happen is an employer will ask you, hey, are you open or able to um, do a video chat? If you have webcam capabilities, you can say yes, and they'll send you an invite. And a little box will pop up here saying, um, the Career Echo platform would like to have access to your webcam and your um, audio device, allow or deny. You click allow and two boxes are gonna pop up. The first is going to be your box, the video of yourself, and a box of the recruiter. 